for me, the Wilson Center is this incredible institution with a very powerful mission, which is all about bringing research and scholarship to address some of the world's most pressing global challenges. We're the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars. We have a 50-year investment in scholarship, and we have 5,000-plus former scholars all over the world. No one else has that. The Wilson Center is an ideas factory. When you think of the question, where do ideas come from, they come from places like this. It's a think tank, so you have scholarship, you have expertise, you have convening power, and you have thought leadership. It isn't just a place in time. It is a process that makes knowledge more useful in the public service. It also has an incredible microphone to tell the world what is actually happening. That's the core mission of the Wilson Center, connecting experts across fields and across regions. The cultural diversity of the Wilson Center informs the way we do, we, we do our work, just respecting that difference, respecting that diversity. Bonjour, je suis Eleanor Poels. Tongjo Chan. Oye mil nome Anna Purse. Sumfna Subnan Tapel. Minya Zavut Matvey Rajansky. Niha Washer Kong Ani. Muli Boanji. My role is really to keep the American public in general engaged on Africa issues. I'm a foreign policy analyst. I've covered more than 140 countries on six continents. I'm a vice president for new initiatives and I direct the Middle East program here at the center. I run a program that ensures that by 2050, women hold 50% of leadership positions worldwide. I think it's one of the things that really sets us apart from other think tanks is that we really are present. By being present, you actually get much more of the texture of a country. Chinese are very proud of their civilization, rightfully so. The heart of that is the language, and you've got to be conversant in it. A few years ago, there was a major economic reform. And the headline, Run Wu, Shi Wu Sheng, read uh, literally, Moisten things, detailed, no sound. Well, if you've just studied Chinese economy, you can't make head or tails of a headline like that. You have to know that it's a famous line from a Tang Dynasty poet about the fine spring rain that nourishes the shoots, which will then gradually, you know, bloom. So it's not enough to study economics and Chinese. You have to know literature. The Wilson Center is, is first and foremost animated by empathy. Empathy is not the same as sympathy. It doesn't mean agreement. It means an ability to understand where the other is coming from. And that's very rare among Washington institutions. The mission of the Wilson Center has never been more important. The international system is going through profound change and our politics are polarized. So having a space where conclusions are not pre-cooked, that mission has never been more important. We are a place that is defined as a trusted space. It has to be. We have to be nonpartisan. We have to be working in the public service. And, and having that literally inscribed on the wall generates trust. Being nonpartisan doesn't mean not having a point of view. It means embracing all points of view and trying to come up with some actionable ideas that make sense for the country. You know, we face a lot of challenges today, but here at this center, you have the opportunity to explore those challenges from so many perspectives. The research is funded by a long list, including the Wilson Center. I'll be very interesting to read about your conclusions and recommendations. For and then to bring some of that knowledge to our Congress, to our administration, to our different government departments. From my perspective, it's good news at the summit. Aaron David Miller is with us of the Woodrow Wilson International Center. Our role as public servants and our role as public educators is extremely important. It goes back to the roots of this place. The idea that the Wilson Center, the International Center for Scholars, should be a platform to bring together research, and then we should provide a channel for our scholars to use research to inform policy. The Wilson Center will help you have real implications, to have real connections to real people's lives.